sailing in Fiji, in one of the most beautiful island countries of the South Pacific Ocean. In the year 2020, during the pandemic of COVID-19, this sounds like a dream. This dream came true for a bunch of lucky sailors, us included. But let's start our story from the beginning. It is the fifth year of our circumnavigation that started from Greece. After spending a few months back home, we fly back to Fiji to our boat Felizi. It's March 9, 2020. We leave Athens in a hurry, afraid of a lockdown. A disease called COVID-19, caused by a novel coronavirus, is spreading fast around the globe. Fiji is COVID-free, and the authorities are doing their best to keep it this way. Our boat Felizi is in Vunda Marina, inside the cyclone pit, a hole in the ground. It is the middle of the cyclone season. The place is quiet. Just 10 days later and the news drops like a bomb. The Prime Minister announces the first COVID-19 case in Fiji. It's the first case of a novel coronavirus, known as COVID-19. Measures are strict and immediate. Our area goes to lockdown. A nationwide curfew is imposed. The country's borders close. Day by day, the pandemic spreads, bringing fear and despair in the whole world. Our family, our friends, everyone, locked down in their homes, are trying to live through this disaster. We are shocked and so, so sad. It's the beginning of April and a storm forms in the South Pacific. Soon, it intensifies to a destructive Category 5 cyclone named Harold. It is heading towards Fiji. We prepare Felizi and we go to the nearby hotel first landing for the night, fearing for the worst. It is a long and difficult night, but not a direct hit. The damages in our area are relatively small. We leave, we enjoy the beautiful hotel. A sweet, sudden, somewhat creepy feeling. A whole resort for a handful of guests. The borders of the country are closed. All tourists have left. Hotels are closed and empty. A few more COVID cases appear. New restrictions are imposed. Cruising is not permitted in Fiji waters anymore, so all international boats must stay in port. Borders close in most Pacific Island countries, and as a result, the sailing community experiences unprecedented situations. Foreign sailboats are not allowed to make landfall and must stay in the open sea, even in dangerous weather. Fiji becomes a bright exception giving special permit to two single-handed sailors who take shelter in Vunda Marina after their very long ocean voyage. And so, we meet T.C. Wong from Singapore and Eve from Reunion. In Vunda Marina, all of us international sailors work on our boats, work out with yoga and tai chi, and take lessons of Fijian language. All is organized among friends for free. Respectful of that next person. It's the same as goodbye, which is more Time goes by. It's been three weeks since the last COVID case. Isolated in our exotic micro world, we can socialize without fear. We are deeply thankful to be in Fiji. Happy birthday, Kitarina. Legend 
June comes. Cyclone season has ended long ago, but sailboats are still not permitted to sail. Apart from that, we are free to move around and get the chance to meet local people. <laughs> Yamaha in Denarao and the patient is here. Yes, <laughs> the patient is here. The patient is very sick. Very sick. Got let's, diabetes. Let's like. hope uh, it will survive. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Dr. Lemeki yes. has to do something. Dr. Lemeki. <laughs> Invited by Elias in Vela Velo for the 100-day remembrance of a relative, we have the rare chance to participate in a family gathering. We have a fan here in is one of our fans. You have the best plate here, I think. <laughs> so what is your name? Emily. Emily. On June 25th, all captains are asked to bring their boat papers and come to the marina office. Then, Jacinda makes the great announcement. We are free to go sailing. We are to sailing! Okay, the happiest moment in months. Yay! <laughs> How do you do? Senga Nalenga, no worries. Sototale, see you later. Mode, bye bye. We sail towards the Mamanuda Islands. As the wind fills our sails, we remember the lovely song from Sirun and Nune, young crew of sailboat Agami. Sailing, baby, oh, feel the wind in your face. See the waves roaring past you. Race as fast as you can. We're going sailing, baby, oh, push your limits to the max. Forget your safety in this fun. Don't be no land lover. And then we sail south. Our next stop is Malolo Island. Think of the lost creation. He was the one who made this ocean. Forget society. And be free, oh. Feel the wind in your face. See the waves roaring past you. Race as fast as you can. We're going sailing, baby, oh. Feel the wind in your face. See the waves roaring past you. Race as fast as you can. We're going sailing, baby. Hello, 
ευχαριστώ. Τι ψωμάκι. Malololai Lai Island is home of the famous and yacht-friendly Musket Cove Resort, which opened again for the celebration of Bastille Day. We say goodbye to our friends and sail to Mana, an island with a very tricky reef passage. A group of village boys take us up the hill. We sing and talk together. The boys are polite, bright and have big dreams. Bula to their families. So our long-awaited voyage begins. We sail southeast to Astrolab Reef to Virolevo Island, hoping to see the manta ray. to stay more, but there is a good weather window that will help us to sail east so we can't miss it. The southerlies of the next three days is an interval from the prevailing southeast winds of the season. They will allow us to sail the 170 nautical miles to Fulanga, one of the most remote and beautiful islands of Fiji. It was chapter 45 and now it's chapter 1. Change but can't take different courses in our lives. Sleepless nights riding the waves, the stars will show the way. In the deep blue ocean vastness, many skill will feel again. And ocean wind, mild or
We arrive before sunrise and wait a few hours until the sun is up high in the sky. The island is surrounded by coral reefs, so entering the lagoon is impossible without good light. Also, the current can be strong, making the passage more dangerous. Our friend Erwin comes to greet us and show us the safe route. We anchor and leave straight away to go for Cebu Cebu in Monodake, the village of the island chief. On the way we get lost inside a gorgeous labyrinth created by tiny mushroom-shaped limestone islands in emerald shallow waters. We found our way with Google Maps, offline of course. There is no internet in the Lao Islands. There are no hotels in the Lao. Sailors are the only foreigners the locals meet. Our friends and us, five Copa. boats all together, we are the first and only visitors in Pulanga since Hello. many months. Oh, bongi. 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 Hello, Pula bongi. Bongi. So this is the Turanga water. And your name? Soki. Soki. Vinaka. Simoni, the island chief, is worried about COVID, but he trusts us. He appoints one of the families to be our host during our stay, as the custom is. The people are very friendly and welcoming. Being in this village feels like traveling back in time. Fulanga has three small villages, but only one school. The kids from the faraway village walk a long way every day. Sunday is the most important day for the Lao Islanders. We all attend Mass at the village Methodist Church. After church, all boat crews go for lunch with their host families. Our host family cook traditional food, 
fish in coconut milk and cassava. People here live from fishing and farming. It has been more than a month since the last commercial ship came to Fulanga and many important staples, sugar, rice, flour, are running out. We offer them as much as we could carry. This is the mast. Yeah, we call it pigeon. Bana. Bana. Lucy and Micah and Greg and Karen. And this is the beautiful bag beautiful that bag. Lucy made. On our way back to Felizi, Yorgo saves one of the local boats. My hero. Next morning, very early, we go with Umberto to pick up the fishing nets. Umberto is a Dutch sailor who comes to Fulanga since 2004. He's practically a local. On the back, yeah. on the back, look. That's it. All right. <laughs> okay, job done. <laughs> the one and only telephone line of the island has been out of order for the last few months. Simone, the chief, needs to make urgent calls and we offer Felizis Iridium satellite phone. Me all, uh, my family, uh, me, I will be the 10th chief of Florida. See Simon wearing a holy mountain cross. Captain René, Captain Umberto and Captain yeah, Yorgos. Right. Now we are fair, now okay. it's okay. okay. <laughs> Cheese by Tipes? Fish today. <laughs> ah, don't expect so much happier. No disappointment. Is it a fish? Yes. Hey, all right. Barbonara. Hey, or a barbonara. The sea in Fulanga is full of life. We eat fresh fish every day. Our friend TC saw a big one under his boat, threw in the hook and caught this huge trevelli. Come on! Come
globe for Bulanga. Bulanga District School. Yes. Thank you so much. We're so happy. <laughs> made an opening between the two continents, between South America and North America. They made the opening of the Canal of Panama. So we be free. Be free. Amen. Amen. Now it's the time to say goodbye to sin. Now it's the time to say goodbye. Say goodbye. Visit Salota mm. and many so in their home. home. This is my home, Katarina. We go to the kitchen and have a lunch. Yes. <laughs> oh, look at wow. this. Oh. Chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. Min is one of the best wood carvers on the island. Lao Islands are a geographical and cultural crossroad between the Melanesian Fiji and Polynesian Tonga. It's very evident here in Fulanga from the village's circular houses. The arrival of the provisioning boat after so long brings joy to the whole island. Olive oil, olive oil. The calm weather is perfect to say least, so all five goats, as a convoy, we set sail to explore the nearby Onye Island. Umberto, who knows the waters really well, leads the way through the passage and the very shallow lagoon. We anchor in Matana Bay, and because the tide is very low, we walk a path to reach the village. People here must be super cool. The nine of us appear in the village without notice. First visitors on the island after a year. Epeli, smoking calmly his long suki cigarette, says that they have never ever seen five boats here at the same time. Five boats, five kava packages, the village is happy. We assist in the kava drinking preparation, grinding the kava root. <laughs> It's Sunday morning and the tide is rising. We take the dinghy and go to the village to attend Sunday Mass. Becky and Sarah invite us for lunch. 
Sarah is an excellent cook. The food is delicious. <laughs> Bertha is taking us a little trip. <laughs> The tide gets lower by the hour. We go back to Felizzi through a fjord like maze of small islets. A real adventure. Next day, we go back to the village. We've been more than 20 days without internet and now we must urgently connect. We heard that there is Wi Fi at the school. Lika is a teacher of uh, Matua Tambu Primary School. The kids of Omea are lovely, playful, very polite, and we all have a great time with them. Sarah? My name is Lili. Lili. My name is Lala. Lala, yes, I am. My name is Sinu. Okay, Sinu. My name is Faye. <laughs> Nice. Bye. See you later. Bye. What is this? Yeah, panda leaves. Panda leaves? Sarah's aunties cut the panda leaves <laughs> to use them for weaving floor mats. So this way you choose. Aha. Uh -huh. Meanwhile, men came back from spare gun fishing at the outer reef. Wow, groupers! In the picture. Come on in the picture, everybody. Yes. Premix. Hey, you. That's the way we got to feel. <laughs> Sulu, the famous Sulu. <laughs> We love spending time with the village kids and we try to teach them things. We visit them at school almost every day. Hello, nice to see you again. Good morning. Good morning, Karina! Mm. Interesting. Oh, I love this lesson. Remember, take out the book, eh? please. Yeah. <laughs> Sulu, as president of the women's club of Ongea, organizes a surprise for us, a traditional Meke dance.
this beautiful evening, so our friends Reggie, Sarah, and Little Pasamada come to Felizzi for dinner. Reggie told us about the whale mothers and calves that they saw in the lagoon. Next morning, we go to look for them. One by one, we go and swim close to the whales. My heart beats fast. They're magnificent. Every year, whales swim thousands of miles from Antarctica to the tropics to give birth in the safety of the lagoons. They stay for a few months until their baby calves grow and are able to make the long passage back south. Sunday again. Our eight unforgettable days in Onyea Island passed as fast as a breath. Tomorrow we will sail away, but we still have today to enjoy. Super low time. Ναι, ναι, ναι. Τώρα που είναι ψόφιος δεν κάνεις κόλπα. Δριός πεσούσις, πάσα νύρξη λέβεται. And here? At the anchorage here? Matana. Matana. Yeah. All right. And how do you call this food? Ika vakalolo. Ika vakalolo. Ika is fish, right? Vakalolo. On the west side, is a rise rise when the full moon rises, it's a high tide. It's getting high tide. It's getting high tide. As it moves, and it goes up, the yeah. tide goes low. Okay. So middle, when it is in the middle, low tide. it's low tide. And okay. it goes down. It's getting it's higher high again. Yeah. Simple. Together with Sulu. Sulu, the queen. The queen of the village. Come on, yes. <laughs> with a great hospitality. We want Thank you, Sulu. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yes. We'd love to stay longer with these beautiful people, but there are so many Lao Islands to see and not much time. Soon we must be in the mainland to renew our visas. We weigh the anchor and motor slowly towards the barrier reef passage. The sea is boiling over the rocks. It's an overwhelming sound. Our next destination is Namuka Island, about 30 nautical miles away, and we sail fast with 20 knots east southeast wind. Namuka. We anchor in a very safe anchorage northwest of the island. 
The gorgeous, crystal clear water reminds us both of the Aegean Sea. Google Maps show the village in the middle of the island, about four kilometers away. We must go for Cebu Cebu. Of course, there's no one around to ask for directions. Namuka Tinichta. We get lost in the forest. In the end, we manage to find the path. After two hours, we arrive to the village. It's late. We go straight to the chief's house. Okay. And uh, his name is uh, Fama, yeah. which in Greek means miracle. Yeah. And her gra his granddaughter is called Miracle. <laughs> this is a miracle. The chief gives us the visitor book to sign. We are the first yacht after a year. This pandemic affects every tiny corner of you our have planet. food for the village? Yeah. After the cycle? Yeah, two shops, yeah. Two. Two shops, two magazines. We buy a few provisions from the little shops and some fruit and vegetables from the villagers. And they Hello? offer us a ride back to Felizi. Yuppie! The anchorage that we are? Walata. Walata. Okay. Yeah, now I... Fantastic. Next day, the island nurse comes wearing a mask. They worry about us bringing COVID, as they think we came from abroad. We show them our cruising permit. Senga Nalenga. No worry. And the captain answered all the questions about us having the COVID. COVID, actually. <laughs> yeah, everybody's concerned. Five days, we set sails for Dalidoni village in Vanua Balavo Island to see our dear friends from last year, Israeli and Eleanor. We show them our movie Fiji Part 1. They are both a big part of it. We always have a great time together. Mila, with a divine voice, Zacharias and their family invite us in their home and share a delicious Sunday meal with us. <laughs> Inoki, right? We leave the Lidoni village and sail to awesome Gilangila, a gem of Fiji 
and one of the most beautiful and safe anchorages we have ever been. Gilangila is not very far from Delidoni, so Zacharias and his brother Lendua come every few days bringing us fresh fish from their catch and fruit and veggies from their garden. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Have a nice day. Have a nice day, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you for the fish. Thank you for the Yeah. So nice. Guys, so, you're perfect. Alright. So, see, come here. This is the basin of the Palacio. Say goodbye to our friends and set sails for Walangilala. On the way, we meet boats we have never seen before. Boats coming from Hawaii, Tahiti, New Zealand, Australia. Fiji has opened up its borders to international cruising yachts, the brilliant Blue Lanes Initiative that counts the ocean passage time as part of the quarantine days. Over 90 yachts and super yachts have come so far, a big help for Fiji tourism. We wish other countries do the same someday. A μεγάλη δυσκολία κρατιάμε να μην βουτήξω. Δεν είναι This is our second visit to this remote and gorgeous island after a year. A real sanctuary for seabirds and wildlife.
full moon tonight, so the tide is very high and the anchorage becomes uncomfortable. We sail all night under the moonlight. Next destination is Savo Savo Port in Vanua Levu Island, where we must do the paperwork for our visas. Savo Savo, the natural way. Boiling hot springs. In Savo Savo, we'll meet again Sofronia and we invite her and her family to Felizi. Six a.m. we depart and sail south, heading to a special place, Makongai Island. From 1911 until 1960, Makongai used to house leopards from all the British colonies of the Pacific. Now it houses the Fijian turtle and giant clam farm. It is a marine park. Katarina. Katarina. Katarina or Karina? Katarina. Katarina. Like a breeding places, like a fish farm, or what you guys can call. Lucy tells us about the island farm of grouper fish, kawakawa, turtles and clams. These are the guys who show you where the giant crab is. Like they're becoming extinct, so the government wants to do like for us. Like they're giving birth and everything. So we're just keeping it. Okay, you're most welcome. Welcome to Makunga Island. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Nice to be here. The kids seem very happy to show us around. And at last, after all these years in the Pacific, we see an absolutely huge giant clam. And look at this, this is a baby clam. Ah. Wow! Amazing. What eh? is this? A uh, whale bone. It's so huge. Saint Jerry, take us to the tombs of the sisters of the Society of Mary, the missionaries who took care of the sick from Vuka Vuka, the leper. Every new day we see more of Makongai hospitality. We spend time with Luce and her wonderful kids, Rosemary and Pita. On Sunday, the crew of Falabalu and Filizi, we are invited for lunch by the villagers. The food is slow cooked inside the lovo, a traditional earth oven. This is the taro leaf. We mix it with uh, coconut cream inside and uh, like we call it this in Fiji, we call it in Fiji palusami. This is the like uh, the barefoot barefoot the leaves. Wow, what a crab! Mm. And then Captain George, Captain Yorgos, Captain Totsi is cutting the bread. Nice. Our friend Rosemary. Wow. Never seen a fish like that. Ever. The food is delicious and the whole experience is extraordinary. After lunch, Jerry, a five year old boy, offers to bring us papayas. No one stops him from climbing. We are watching him speechless. Come on. Almost, almost. Another one, another one. Gary. Gorri, 
The kids want to see our yota, our yachts, so off we go. La Balu sailed from New Zealand. They brought donations from sailing families for the children of Fiji. Clothes, shoes, books and more. And they do have ice cream. Jerry, Mini, Miri, Pira, 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 Next day, we take the path to the school at the other side of the island. It's a one hour long walk and not an easy one. The children have to do it every day. There are no roads and no cars on this island and going by boat is a luxury. There's not enough money for fuel. Ocean. So first stop was Galapagos. Imagine on a sailing boat. <laughs> 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 well, only foul. <laughs> The older kids take care of the younger ones. There's a beautiful, strong bond between them, like brothers and sisters with love and respect for one another. Please. 
four, five. Saying goodbye to our Makongai friends is not easy. They gathered beautiful seashells for us, so never to forget them. Strong easterly wind fills our sails and we sail fast towards our next destination, Levuka port in Avalau Island. Levuka was founded by European settlers in 1820. When the modern state, the Kingdom of Fiji, was created in 1871, Levuka became the first capital of the nation. In 1882, the capital was moved to Suva. A walk around the town with a distinct architecture reveals its important colonial past. <laughs> After spending a few days in different beautiful and secluded anchorages in Ovalau, we sailed to Suva, about 55 nautical miles south-southwest. The huge barrier reef of Suva is at the same time a great protection and a great danger to navigation. Saturdays, and it's the best day to be in the market. People from all around come here to sell their produce. Can a pizza look like a sweet of Suva is one of the largest urban capitals of the South Pacific, and it has all the characteristics of a big city: luxury hotels, shopping malls, heavy traffic. Still the people are friendly and warm. The young Fijians we meet in Suva speak English as a mother tongue. <laughs> we even meet a Cuban who speaks Greek. So, could you recommend a nice restaurant here in Suva? Sure. Uh, you work um, Epsia and Katolo Hecatometra. Hecatometra! Hecatometra! Fiji! Next destination is Benga Island, just a few miles away from Suva, but a whole different world. As the COVID-19 safety procedure dictates, we are allowed to enter the village after we show our cruising permit to the Turanga Nikoro. Then he takes us to the chief for Sebu Sebu. Turanga of uh, this beautiful village. What is the name of the village? The Shil Shil. Shil Shil. Yes. Okay. And we're very happy to be here. Thank you. In Benga. In beautiful Benga. Beautiful Benga. Benga. Beautiful Benga. <laughs> yeah. And we are so, the first yacht, I think, eh? Yeah, the first yeah. The chief's grandson, 15-year-old Suli, is appointed to take us around the island. He shows us different plants they use as medicine, Fiji medicine. Yeah. Mm and the huge termite nest. Yeah. You see the tree was destroyed so completely. So it's full of ants inside here? Yeah. Mm. 
We are the only visitors in the whole island. Despite the pandemic, the people invite us in their homes and share their food with us. So this is a good note. Truly learn the bowline so well. With eyes closed. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few days pass in this very hospitable and very rainy island. It's time to move on. The Fiji regatta in Musket Cove begins soon and we don't want to miss it. The sight is overwhelming. We count 80 yachts in Musket Cove gorgeous anchorage that had been almost deserted when the borders closed. This year the regatta week begins on a very special date. Today, October 10, 2020, is Fiji Day and the nation celebrates 50 years of independence. on the 10th of October at 10 a.m. when Prince Charles handed over the independence documents to our then Prime Minister uh, Ratamara. in the Hobie Cat Challenge. <laughs> Everything's go, go for broke. Oh, 
name. We are the second monohull to cross the finish line. Captain John and crew we are all celebrating. A new cyclone season begins, but we can't go anywhere. As long as the borders of the surrounding countries stay closed, our circumnavigation with Felizzi is halted in Fiji, so we remain here, locked down in paradise. 